My name is Maria, and I'm going to make a looping animation that uses enter scene interactions to move between the states, as well as I show you how to create a TV turning on like a text of the hologram. And also, I have some great tips of interaction features you may not already know. I've already built this project before, and it has uh, two scenes. So let's start by creating a copy of this scene, and let's call it first half of tutorial and let's go ahead and create a second half of a tutorial so it's very important to start uh, this project by arranging your assets so let me show you what it consists of so there is only four assets in this scene it's the hologram uh, which is a gif and then this uh, blue triangle with some opacity value there's this little circle here to imitate the uh, the blue beam button turn on and then of course they are 2d2 model you can also see all of them from the object drawer you can see all of the four icons uh, the r2d2 model i grabbed from sketchfab by typing r2d2 this is the one i used so whenever you're creating your assets, you can just simply drag it down and save the asset. If you would like to use, let's say, a different R2D2 model, you can select the R2D2 model and simply replace the selection by dragging it down like this. But I'm not going to do that now. Uh, I'm happy with my assets. So let's start creating. So we go to the scene menu, click interactions, and I already have this interaction saved from my previous scene. So I would like to delete this and create it from scratch. And I will select R2D2 model and save its position on absolute value and its rotation on absolute value. The same goes for the other assets that we have in this project. Okay, so the hologram, we can uh, select all of our three assets and select its visibility value. We can unselect that circle. We have only the hologram and the, uh, uh, the blue beam. And let's say if its scale value. Fantastic. This is what all we need in this interaction. Next, we go to the initial state of this scene and we start arranging the assets. First, we select our R2D2 model and change its position to So let's set it to minus zero two and minus, minus zero five. And now we want to set its rotation. So it's looking away from us um, like this. Next, we want to select all of those objects and turn them invisible. Next, we wanna select the blue beam and the hologram and scale them down to zero, 0 0.1. So they appear as two lines. Next, if we go to interaction menu and, and go to the edit curves menu, we can review how it will look like. It's happening a bit too fast. So let's edit our curves. First, I would like the robot to rotate and then I would like the position change to wait for one second and then happen for one second more. So that's happening for two seconds. And then after two seconds, I would like the blue button appear and then the blue beam also appear. Let's set this to 
Um, so we have it appearing slightly after the blue beam. Okay, preview. It turns, it goes, and it projects. This is looking great. Let's confirm our time curves. And let's go to the second half of the tutorial. So we already have the initial state set up, but we still need to make the end state of the interaction. Go to interaction menu and uh, let's remove this enter scene and add the new one. So we want our R2D2 to go backwards where it's been before to minus uh, 0 0.2 minus 0 0.5. Okay. Okay. And we would like to set its rotation so it looks away from us. Just like this. Next, we would like to select all of our objects and set its visibility to invisible. Select these two holograms and scale them down to 0 0.1. Just like this. Preview. Happening too fast. So first we want the light beam and the hologram to go away. So this is happening first. And then we would like to turn off uh, the blue button and only afterwards uh, we want it to rotate and then the position happening. Let's preview this. Great. Let's confirm. Let's look how it looks all together. But first, let's link up the scene change. What we want to do now is to have action respond to scene change and second half of the tutorial and then go to the second half of the tutorial interaction, action response, scene change, first half of the tutorial. Great, now let's look again. Whoop. Yes. This is looking great. The only thing that is happening too fast. So what we want to do now is tell uh, Torch that in the first scene we would like to wait. In here we would need to do a little trick. The scene change happens after all the other interactions have fired. So let's select our triangle and give it a slight rotation. So it's not gonna be noticeable, but it's gonna be enough to tell Torch to wait. Here is our rotation and let's give it three and a half seconds. So we have enough time to see the, the ball hologram. So let's look at all together again. This is looking great. Hooray! Basically, we are done with it with our tutorial. Uh, the other couple of things that I wanted to pay your attention is how to manage your interactions. If you select, let's let's select our R two D two. You can simply drag him to the trash bin to completely remove response of this interaction happening for this object. But we're not going to do that now uh, because this is not our intention. My intention is just to show you how to do it. The other thing is that in edit curve menu, sometimes it happens when you modify objects freehand 
that you give it some position value that you were not intending to do in the beginning. You can simply track the position left and then delete the response. And that's how you delete interactions in Torch. Thank you. And I hope to see you again. Let's look at this again. Boom. Bye-bye.